Tell me when we're going. All right, welcome to the ABA, proudly brought to you by Peach Boxing. It's March the 2nd, we are in Auckland, New Zealand. Join with you tonight from Gladrap, Isaac Savage, and to my left, two-time New Zealand champ and bronze Commonwealth Games medalist, Troy Garden. Welcome to the team tonight, Troy. Thank you, thank you, I'm excited to be here. A little bit different too, having our co-host with us tonight, now in the ring against Moze, the Iron Amatangi. Apparently it's going to be an exhibition, however we all know what an exhibition means. It means an exhibition, Isaac. <laughs> Not always. However, will we see this go the distance? What I have on paper is 4 by 3 it could be 3x3, three three. we'll soon find out. Ian Mozi Amatangi, too, a very accomplished boxer from a family of fighting, has fought here and abroad, being on one of the Joseph Parker undercard fights there in the UK, coming away with a very good win over a British counterpart. What a fight that was. Going to be interesting to see, to see him against up and comer, the renegade Mikhailovich there from Peach Boxing tonight. I'm sure, Troy, too, you've had a few exhibition fights in your lifetime, and how do they usually go down? Did you go hard? Did you go 50% or 100 No, it's, it's... No, I've had a few exhibitions, and you go... You know, you don't give it 100 and 110. Like, you, you you work with each other, but you'll... you'll if you get a, if they get a shot in, you're definitely going to come back again, you know? I like... Yeah, it, it's hard, because... um. Exhibitions, you do have to hold it back a little bit. It's all about testing the waters, right? And yeah, it you is. Know, they might get one up on you, might get one up on them. And does it get to a point where it gets out of control? Well, if no. it does, someone goes down. It, honestly, though, it, I, I would actually say an exhibition is like having a um, com competition sparring. Exactly. Yeah. And we'll, hey, look, we've all seen them. We've, I've seen exhibitions end in KOs. Oh, well, yeah, okay. However, and I've seen them end how they have ended tonight and gone the distance stop but an exhibition is uh, at times just a title you know what's nice about an exhibition is there's no winner so if you <laughs> didn't do as well as you thought you'd like to have done <laughs> that's always it's alright because it's an that's exhibition <laughs> but this is crazy because both these guys are so well established uh, there's a lot on the line I mean look Andre's a very proud man and, and Mose uh, uh, himself uh, both very good fighters, very good boxers. Uh, I feel this is going to be an interesting exhibition bout. Oh, bit of a interesting low guard touch there from Andre Mikhailovich. Oh, quick right hand to the head of Mozé. Is Mozé going to uh, grapple up and? Try box. Oh, look at Andre there popping out those jabs. Is he going to show up, Mose, tonight, or is Mose going to show who's boss in this exhibition bout? Andre there with the low guard. Beautiful left hook. Love it how he looks like he's going to jab and then turns it into a hook. Andre there looking the bit quicker of the two. But Monze certainly would have much more experience than the Renegade. So tell me, Isaac, why are they in headgear? Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. Look, uh, the last exhibition fight did not have headgear and could have been a last-minute call and uh, from whatever corner, and, and that's just uh, why they're wearing headgear tonight. Uh, potentially... Both guys are fight. Well, Andre's fighting in a week or two, and he oh, okay. no, potentially that wouldn't want a, a head cut. Protection, yeah. And we we all know it's like accidental head clash, cut, and potentially that's why they're wearing headgear tonight. I like your explanation. I think I'm going to agree with you. But I'm not a fan of headgear. I mean, we all we well, you've worn it. I've worn it. I have to. For wear me, it. Um, I feel it restricts vision. 
However, uh, what are your thoughts on the headgear? Oh, look, in all honesty, being a female, I know this is going to sound terrible to the people that are feminists, but I just like the fact that I don't get cuts like the men do. Um, it protects me from that, and due to being a girl and wanting to look okay, <laughs> I don't know. I, like, I don't mind it. But I wouldn't have an I wouldn't be opposed to them taking it away, you know. So I just deal with what I have to I have to wear it. Exactly. I have to wear you're it. probably quite used to it as well, with, yeah. with wearing it in most competitions, sparring, etc. And... You know, look, tonight these guys have put it on and it's certainly thrown down. And what I'm seeing so far is I'm seeing Andre being very aggressive. Even, uh, you know, uh, groaning or yelling as he, he throws each <laughs> shot. And oh, big left there, yeah, connected with the head nice. of Mozzie. And Andre showing a little bit of dominance near in this first round. You know, considering this is an exhibition, he's uh, probably not wanting to um, look like the lesser of the two. But Moze coming forward now. Take nothing. Oh, pushes him away on the forehead. He's quick, eh, Andre? Good round. Still an exhibition, don't worry. <laughs> Very good round. I'm, I'm in awe watching this first round fight, and we've still got apparently three, possibly four for Lucky. But I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Andre coming out, obviously the aggressor of the two. You know, the young gun trying to show what's up. However, Mose has probably got a few tricks under his hat, and he's certainly the veteran of the two. Certainly more experience, so let's see if he pumps up the volume for round two. Let's see what happens. Seconds out now, how we go into round two, as this is an exhibition fight so far. I feel, just watching and being blatantly honest, uh, yes, it is an exhibition, but for some there could be more on the line when it comes to bragging rights and how both boys showed up tonight. Fast start there again from Andre coming out hard and fast. Big right, but Mozo catches on the glove. No problem there. We're starting to see the experience now from Mozo. You know, he's starting to catch those shots. And that's what you'd expect too from such an experienced veteran as, as Mozzie. He's, he's comfortable with these shots, you know. Yeah, they might look hard. They might sound like they're, they're, they're going and landing. But for Mozzie, he looks pretty comfortable. Yeah. He's got good head movement too when he's moving that head slipping, rolling. And just coming forward. And a nice tight high guard. Which you know I like. Bit of a slip there, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and a bit of a slip there from Mozzie. He comes forward. Being a bit of the aggressive of the two, starting to walk Andre down. And this could be the experience, right? I mean, Mozzie's probably had double the fights of Andre. And that's where he comes through now. Taking every shot and then throwing one straight after. Landing one on the chin there. But Andre's certainly being the aggressor still. Andre too does a little double, does a bit of a head tap when he throws a shot. Is that a a move that most boxers do? Is that something that uh, you do in your fighting, Troy? I missed that. I was sorry. I was watching. What did you say? <gasps> so watch Andre mm -hmm. when he throws a combo. He'll then tap himself on the head. Make sure his guards are poor. Potentially to suck himself up. I'm not sure. Oh, when he comes forward with the shoulder like that, like jabs and then shoulder in front. I'll call it when I see it again, okay. but watch. He just tapped himself there on the air again. So he just threw a combo and then he tapped himself on the air and did it again. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, no, I don't do that, but it might be just his little a little bit of his style, you know, what he likes to do. Make sure it's guards up and we've all got our own kinks. Yeah. I think that'll be it. Well, Andre special. I'm going to ask him about it when he comes back up. You probably Beautiful I know you left will. body shot there. Oh, nice exchange between the two there. 
Ooh. Beautiful exchange. This is just amazing to watch. <laughs> Andre comes forward, gets out of the way of the punches, comes forward again. To be able to push Mozé like this is absolutely amazing because I know Mozé wouldn't want to be uh, getting too exposed by this youngin. And so far, so good. What a fight or exhibition bat bout this is. So you'll also see a little bit of what Andre was talking about earlier, about how because when he's standing a bit further outside, he's going to have his... He's going to have his um, guard down. So he's standing out there, he's got his guard down. But has he got that guard down because he is waiting? Or yeah, so he's trying, trying to, to counteract draw, he's or trying to draw, punch combo? He'll try and draw out the punch. This is my assumption why I'd hold my guard like that. As I'd be trying to draw... A punch out of um, blue to then counter. So far, so good. I mean, this is just amazing to watch. We're seeing one of New Zealand's up and comers, Andre the Renegade Mikhailovich, against a very established veteran and accomplished boxer, Moze Aina Matangi, from a family of boxers. And so far, so good. What about it's been? Round number three. So maybe they aren't before. They didn't say final round. Definitely happy with that. Beautiful flurry there from Mikhailovich. Taps the head again. Beautiful nice shot shots. Then. Such an aggressive boxer. You know, there's very f often, uh, or very few and far between, where we see a, a mix of viciousness nice and from boxing Mose. combined in one. And Mikhailovich is de demonstrating that tonight. This is a good exhibition, Isaac. Beautiful <laughs> right hook to the head there. Body shots. I'm loving the aggression here from Andre the Renegade Mikhailovich. Tight guard. You know, a lot of guys, when they first start off, they throw and they get tired. But these boys come forward. These guys are pros. Hence the reason they can keep standing and banging. However, Andre the Renegade Mikhailovich has a relentless style that doesn't seem to end. And... I'm wondering if if the juice is going to run out sooner or later. Oh, you know, as you said, he's been he said he's been training hard. He's got a fight coming up. I don't think he's going to run out of juice. But we're still Beautiful to see. Slip. Gets out of the way there from Armatangi. Comes back in again. You'd like to think that yeah, and just as I was thinking that Mozzie comes back with a bit of aggression, says, "Hey, whatever you can do, I can give you some back, boy." Considering this is an exhibition, we're seeing a bit more of that tonight, and this is once again worthy of a main event. Nice. Big right from the Mikhailovich. Oh, faints and makes Mose flinch. Nice and what are your thoughts on finding a guy like Mikhailovich with a style like that? He's so busy, he's so aggressive. How do you how do you counteract or get away from a style like Mikhailovich? To someone who's busy and constantly moving all the time, you can try and slow. I'm um, trying to um, aim my guard, uh, my guard, my jab at his chest to try and slow him down that way with the movement. Um, but staying on him, you yeah, think he's, I'd, um, I'd probably try and stay right on him, which Mose is doing, and just follow, you know cutting the ring. Cutting the ring would be important on um, look at, it, well, on red. It's interesting too to look at corners each round. I mean, look, we always talk about it. Mose standing, he looks pretty composed. You're looking at uh, Andre, and you know he's looking exhausted, but f by all means, so he should be. He's throwing a lot more volume, a lot more power and precision in the shots. 
as we go into the fourth. The one thing I think you don't want to do though is to look exhausted in the in the corner. Sometimes though, it's a little bit too hard to hide. Yeah, it is. I know. I know. I don't think it's going to affect Andre in any sense. He'll come out just as composed as um, Mose will. He just got a different style of sitting in that corner, as he was saying to us earlier. So he's got a quite an honest, open style, and that's what we're seeing tonight. And Certainly liking what I'm seeing, though, from Andre Mikhailovich being only 21 years old. Is he only 21? Wow. Only 21. Oh, yeah, he's got a future on him. I just ran into his, uh, his mother. I was going to say old lady, but mother downstairs, and well, that's what I call my mother. And I just said, look, I'm so proud of your boy. He's, he's a good boy. He's good on the mic and good in the ring, and he's got a bright future ahead of him. So let's see how he goes tonight. Beautiful exchange from both fighters. Mozo saying, look, I'm not going to take any more of this from you, boy. I'm coming. I'm coming See for you. every time he steps, um, Andre steps back, Mozo's straight in there, following him. And look at this from Mozo. He's, he's had enough. He's giving it back. And, and he's making Andre work for it now, you know. Look, Andre, yes, he's thrown out the volume in the earlier rounds and certainly showing a little bit who's boss, but Mozo's starting to show that experience now. Like, I can take this. I can take this and you're not affecting me. Big uppercut there from Moze. Rocked the head of Andre. But hey, Andre comes back. Taps that head. Comes back. Misses. Very even rounded affair so far. Probably two, one of the uh, most contested, craziest exhibition fights I've seen in a long time. Beautiful flurry there. You know, it doesn't matter. You could be backed up on the ropes. You could still throw a few, and they would have scored. You know, if, the, if we're watching, if we're a judge. However, Moze knows what's up. He comes forward, bangs him around the ropes as well. Andre shaking his head like, "Nah, that didn't hurt." But yeah. hey, it still racks up the points. <laughs> and this is where we're starting to see a little bit more experience from the veteran. You know, Andre starting out over. He, he overextended there in that shot. And Mozo coming forward now with some of the clean seat, getting out of the way of that shot. Love to see this go 10 rounds. However, we're only in for four tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Beautiful exchange once again. Mozo landing a few there, clean on the button. Not really affecting Andre. Andre is really oh. loving it. Coming forward, taps that guard and said, let's go. Nice little uppercut there. See, look, that's where he knows where to sneak those points, get those points. Mozo coming through. Definitely nice making this a nice, shot. exciting exhibition for us, eh, Isaac? And Ten both second boys clapper. giving it. We can't say who wants it more because yeah. it's going to be evenly Woo. contested about. They're throwing down. Both boys want to go down. They're both throwing. Holy awesome. smokes, what an exhibition. You can just see the exhaustion there from Andre, the renegade Mikhailovich. He threw it all out there. He certainly showed what's up tonight. He certainly showed he is a contender, a world contender. In his weight category tonight against Moze Ainamatangi. Thank you. 